Hey everybody, Mox with the Comics, and I'm back. This time, on my new comic book day, top picks of the week. If you're interested in knowing what my top picks of the week are, stay tuned for that intro. All right, everybody, Mark Spect the Comics. I'm back with my top five picks for new comic book day. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so that when I do put out some content, you get in a Tommy fashion. So this is going to be a rather light week this week, if you ask me, unless you're uh, a DC fan, so which is going to really hurt your wallet. <laughs> but uh, I still managed to keep it to five picks, as I usually always do, because I always try to keep it $30 or less to make it at least, you know, affordable for you guys that are out there, you know, purchasing new comics. So, number five this week, we're going to kick it right off with DC. We got Dark Crisis number one, seven issue limited series solicited in the same vein as Crisis on Infinite Earths, Infinite Crisis, and Final Crisis. We got, uh, like I said, much anticipated event. They did last week have an introductory issue for uh, the crisis, which I completely, you know, waved it off. It was completely unnecessary, and hopefully you guys listened so you didn't waste your money on that. But um, some cool covers. There is um, a one in twenty-five by Dan Schoening, a one in fifty by Steve Beach, and a one in one hundred that looks pretty cool by Greg Capullo, foil edition. Um, I'm just going to recommend getting the cover A. Historically, these big crisis events don't really, you know, pan out, you know, return on investment wise. It's just fun reads, and that's what this is all about. You know, it's going to be uh, written by uh, Josh Williamson. So, that's your number five this week. Number four this week is coming from Aftershock Comics, and we got Astronaut Down, number one. Astronaut strives to qualify for a mission that will send them into an alternate alternate realities on a desperate mission to save Earth from a horrific crisis that has our world on the brink of extinction. Sounds really cool. You know me, I like to read the horror stories. This one's very reminiscent of like the video game um, Dead Space, if you ever play that. Really creepy game. Um, written by James Patrick. Artist is Rubin. So that's my number four this week. Number three this week, also from Half the Shot Comics, we got Where Starships Go to Die, issue number one. Horror series about a dangerous salvage mission to recover the wreck of humanity's first interstellar starship at the bottom of the ocean floor. Also sounds pretty interesting. So the two different you know spectrums. You got one that's deep space and one that's deep ocean two really crazy uh horror aspects for writing um written by mark sable artist is jeremy hahn so those are your you know two indies for the week now for let's see number two we're going back to you guessed it dc it's going to be a dc heavy week guys we got flashpoint beyond issue number two First appearance of Gilda Dent as Two-Face. Written by Jeff Johns, artist Mitch Gerards. Got a couple of variant covers as well for you guys if you're interested. We got a 1 in 25 for Jason Favic. 1 in 50, I believe this is an inks, done by Ivan Reese. I'm just going to stick to the cover A, um, just because it's, you know, it's been a, issue one was really good. So I'm going to, you know, stick with that as well. All right, couple of honorable mentions, just two this week. Um, we got from Image, we got Twig, number two. Really enjoyed number one. Very simple, very cute, easy read. Vel um, interior artwork was fantastic, great colors. My son loved it. He's really excited to read issue two. And it's one of those stories that is just really simple, appeals to the young kids that I could easily see becoming a TV show or a movie down the road. You know, Scotty Young's been killing it. So that's your first honorable mention. Number two is coming from Marvel. Uh, Marvel didn't make the top five this week. Um, we got, I want to say it is 
Venom number 8. It's going to be the debut of the War Symbiote. Writers Al Ewing, artist Brian Hitch. So that's it for uh, honorable mentions. All right, guys, your number one of the week um, is going to be rounding off from DC again. We got DC Pride, issue number one. If you weren't aware, June is Pride Month. So uh, last year they did do a series of Pride books, and quite a bit, quite a bit. And uh, Marvel did as well. And uh, I think this one is going to be a really interesting read. You got anthology of stories celebrating LGBTQI plus month in June. You got a really great um, various writers, like I said. There's going to be a famous writer um, in one of the stories as well. Artist is Phil Jimenez. My pick of the week is going to be the cover. 1 in 25 variant cover done by Jen Bartel. It's a foil cover. It looks fantastic. Um, I think this book's going to be super hot just because of the cover. And uh, it's my top pick of the week. I've been seeing pre-sales going for right around $100. And it's a 1 in 25. So that's why I made it my number one this week. Um, it is a $9.99 cover price. So keep that in mind as well. It is a pricey issue, but there's going to be several stories in there. So uh, that's it for New Comic Book Day. Top picks of the week. If you guys enjoy that, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, Marks with the Comics. Out.